Hey, everybody, it's Escape to Reality with Justine and Geneva. Hello. We're here. Bravo Breakdown, baby. Um, we're doing all things Bravo, an amazing episode of Real Housewives in New York. Unbelievable. <laughs> so Unbelievable. Good. So good. Uh, Southern Charm, Potomac, and... Uh, They're nuts. They kick it out of the park. Summer House. Yeah. I mean, th- it's like, again, what's amazing to me is how there can be like 17 conversations happening at one table. Like that dinner table with like Sonia yelling in the background and like Ramona and just like, it's amazing. The best part is, th- like people complain there's no storylines. What's the storyline, Luann? Who gives a shit? But it's still the best show right, ever. Right, right, right. I agree. Like you don't need a storyline when you just put them in a room and they just like explode. <laughs> You have Dorinda's blackout face telling <laughs> so that good. poor kid how to make a mojito. <laughs> that was I could watch that on loop. That was amazing. Like her hair is all fucked up. She's like throwing mint everywhere. Your tweet, was like, uh. like I, Lucille Ball is my everything, and so she does that. Tweet is was perfect for. Oh my god, it was good. It was good. Um, but before we dive into the episodes of the week, as always, we'll do a little celebrity gossip. What do we have? What do we have? So Khloe Kardashian gives a super fan the date of a lifetime as she joins him at his high school prom. That would be pretty epic to show up with Khloe Kardashian, but she should have sex with him. Oh, I guess he's underage, but um, <laughs> she should really make him make his day. Yeah. Ugh. So she showed up there. It was at um, Herbert Hoover High School in Glendale, California. Oh, there's a Hoover High School in San Diego. Too. Right. I know. I just saw that. I was like, oh, my God. Could you imagine? And she's wearing her hair is all slicked back. Oh, well, you know, I, I. It's a nice thing to do. Whatever. I was looking at the Us, <laughs> Us magazine had a timeline of like Chloe and Lamar's relationship. And oh I was my looking lord! At the photos, she looked like an entirely different person. She's gotten so much work done. It's like ridiculous. Oh, it's her crazy. entire face, her body, her ass, all of it. Hurring Chloe. Hurring. Um, what's her face? The rich one. Kylie, Kylie never looked alike, but they look alike because of the way they've paid themselves to look alike. Yes. Oh, also, uh, the last episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians was on while I was doing something. And it was like Chloe was like looking for some hamster in Kim's house. The entire house, even the children's rooms are that pale white fuckery. Oh, like, my God. There's nothing anywhere in that house. It's so creepy. It's like, who wants to live like that? So she must, and then she has her makeup and all that. Where does she keep all these clothes? Uh, I don't know. It's like another house that allows color. I don't know. And I it's won't, so yeah, and I see, I see all these clips of Kanye. I'm not even going to read into them. Oh, fuck I hate no. that whole stupid. Um, I'm not watching that shit. David no. Letterman bullshit. Yeah, yeah. It was boring. Yeah, no. David I'm Letterman, bored. you quit your job. Why are you doing some bullshit Netflix thing? Cut your beard off. I don't want to see it. The beard's so annoying. I can't stand the beard. He bugs me. Um, and then, uh, what was I going to say? But, oh, oh, Lamar, he did say, he goes, I, he, I, I wonder, I love how he refers to her as like his lady. He's very, very, he reminds, she left a fond impression on him because she was bulldozed, I guess. But he, he he's dumbfounded as to why she stayed with him, too. Uh, as anyone should be it makes no sense and he, but he does say like uh, chris i have a soft spot for lamar i don't know what's wrong with me he's like i and then when i do look at him i do find him handsome and then he's like oh um he, he looks like he smells good too like he's showered even though he even his cracky days he probably showered a lot he doesn't look like he showers a lot but he goes um Oh, Chris Kardashian's like a mother to me. I always will love her, and I could never say anything bad about the Kardashians. Um, that would be a lie. So it's kind of s- sweet, you know. They were close with him, I guess. When you're in it, and then he said something about uh, oh Tristan Thompson. I love how he's like she. He treated my woman wrong. Or something. I love how he oh, and like her. you didn't. Like what the fuck? <laughs> he's like I should have talked to him about being in the light with them, yeah. and it's a lot yeah, to yeah, handle. Yeah, sage advice. <laughs> yeah, because you really handled it well. <laughs> right. 
I was watching an old when I was in that hotel forever. I was watching an old episode of the Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and Courtney and Scott wanted to have dinner with Lamar and Chloe, and they could never make a time. And Chloe would always bail. It's like, yeah, because he was smoking crack. Yeah, and I mean, he was, and we all didn't know it, but it was. It's it's funny looking back. Some of that might be real. Some of it fake. Who knows? Yeah. What is going on with though with the whole? How long is this Sophia Richie bullshit going to go on for? I mean, they seem like they're hot and heavy, so I don't know. Wow. Yeah, she's very cute. She's really revamped the body. I mean, she's got a body going on, man. Yeah, yeah, she does. Not to be creep, she's very young, but just like <laughs> all right, she's like nineteen. He's on vacation with. Courtney and her it's like Jesus what does he have going on oh, I'm sorry people we talk about the Kardashians every week even though we say we hate them we can't help it I don't, know, it. I don't know I mean and I love Kim Kardashian with that short bob uh, I fucking hate her <laughs> <laughs> can't stand um it. all right what else Prince Harry stunned British airway passengers flying commercial on his way home from uh Rome oh okay yeah he's sitting very front row he is so handsome he is cute. It's so interesting how Prince William went from like hot like 15 years ago to like balding. Yeah. In no time. And now Prince Harry the cuter ones. Different dads. <laughs> he does look just like that guy that they rumor his is yeah. real dad. Yeah, they do. Even though he does have a bald spot in the back. Yeah. People are saying like, how could he go? Like, I guess, uh, what's his name? He was an 80s rock star lover. Rob Lowe, he's like saying, how could Pr- Prince William go bald? He doesn't even care. And, uh, you know, that would be my first priority and all this shit. It is interesting. I guess all the money in the world can't save that. Right. Well, look at Lamar. Uh, Lamar. Look at uh, LeBron's hairline. Every man shifting. Oh, uh, LeBron's is. Yeah. He's always trying to fix it. And then it looks great. And then it's like retreating again. Oh, really? So money can't what buy he you does. Hair. It buys you class. It can only buy you class. So. Exactly. Um, I think that every man should lose their hair because if especially because we have to get our periods and mm-hmm. we have to give birth. Mm-hmm. What do they do? Nothing. They're, men they don't should do lose shit. an erection and they should lose uh, their hair. I mean, the longer I'm deep in this pregnancy hell, I just realize men are just such a weaker species. What do they contribute? Nothing. Yeah. Do your bodies make food for a baby? No, bitch. It doesn't. Exactly. It just um, shoots some sperm across the room in my face and in my eyes. <laughs> You're nuts. <laughs> uh, in music. Oh, uh, music news. Cardi B dropped a new single. It's great. Um, very entertaining. I, I got to watch that video. So her other, body does look good. I mean, even though she's got to cancel some shit for it. It's a little tight. It's <laughs> her her boobs are like a little high for me. You know, oh, are they? Fresh. Okay. Um, I also, need Miley Cyrus is back to hip hop after a brief hiatus. Oh, is she? She has a really she... good song with um, RuPaul on it. That's oh. Like a, I could see it going hard in the gay clubs. Anything um, with RuPaul, I'm down. Yeah, so gotta, she uh, appropriated left and came back, and now she's back in hip hop. And she has a song with like one of the people from Wu Tang, Ghostface oh, wow. Killer. It's weird, but it's good. I and like her it. last song, I did like her last song. Nothing breaks like a heart. It's nothing like that, but it was no, catchy. It never yeah, yeah, caught yeah. on. But you should check check out her. New I will. Music. It's I like Miley Cyrus. Tyler has a strong uh, reaction to her. He claims he saw some video where she was treating people poorly, and he'll hold it against her forever. But I like her. Mm-hmm. I, okay. I don't. I can see it. <laughs> I um, think she's nice. Oh, know. and Bravo News. My friend was at a music festival in. Uh, oh the my Bay god, we got a front first hand news. I'm so excited. <laughs> and she met Carl and Shep. Wow, um, really? She, oh, I saw that they were all up there. Okay. Yeah. Oh and my god, said, we need to hear every detail. Well, she was like wasted and was trying to take a picture and was trying to be discreet, and the flash went off right in Carl's face, and then. She Carl said, and Shep? Yeah, what a she mix. Said, she said Carl was a complete douche and Shep was very friendly, which is very interesting to me. She said he was way nicer than Carl. Carl was like a tool bag. Wow. And Shep like gave her a hug and was like, yeah, like very friendly. And I don't want to Carl... hear that. I don't want to hear the good <laughs> news about Shep. But that Carl was like a complete tool, which I could totally see. Yeah, um, that's not shocking. Yeah. He just doesn't have any personality. No, and I think like now because he's on a show, he probably thinks he's hot shit. You know what he's I mean? He's grossing me out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the news. Anything? Wow. Else? And so she saw him, and I wonder what they look like. Like, 
She said they looked pretty disheveled. And were they tall? Yes, very tall. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. That's interesting. What else? Porsche's following Dennis again. Oh, uh, but I saw another article saying he was caught with strippers or right. some shit. I saw Not the good. pictures. It looked like he was taking pi- pictures with them on his own Instagram or something. Or was know, it like a hidden pictures? Good. Or if it's that blatant, though, maybe he's just at the the strip club. I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like Portia would be somebody that would go with you to the strip club. You yeah, know what I mean? right. I so just, I don't know. I really hope it works out for her. That yeah, sucks. It does. Um, I do love Drake at the NBA finals. I love it. He's being such an asshole. It's pure entertainment. He got he a. He's great. He looks like he's like demented out there talking <laughs> right? to these people. <laughs> I know. It's like I saw there was one video that I like watched on loop like ten times. He like creeps up behind the Raptors coach and like rubs his shoulders for a second and just like walks away. <laughs> it's like what the fuck are you doing, bro? I love like, it. He's part of the like, team. I think it's, it's hilarious. Like, and he's like coming out when people are like, um, <laughs> you know, like everybody's warming up on the court. He's like storming around. It's like, dude, you're not playing the game. Fucking calm down. He is so into it. I really appreciate that he also looks really hot though right now he's got a he nice does. tan he's he looking does good. Yeah. he does look really good i gamble on DraftKings to the nba finals and, oh, okay. um, and I, I i am learning more and more about the nba every year yeah look at you expanding your knowledge because you're gambling addiction <laughs> <laughs> um uh. frank catania jr and Gia, Gia Judice, what Love a name! It. What a name, Gia Judice. Love going to prom. So he's twenty. So you were close. I told you he's a little old. And she's eighteen though. So oh, she's, she's legal. eighteen. Okay. So you think they are like an legal. item, or pervert. just like she didn't have a date? I bet you. I can't picture them having sex for some reason. I mean, I shouldn't be. They're young, but <laughs> you feel I, like they looked. So, they would make a cute couple. Though. Oh my god, would they? I would hope she get teenage pregnant. I would watch Teen Mom <laughs> for her because they would have a beautiful baby. And she's just gorgeous. She's really grown into like she such a beautiful, has, like young lady. They all are getting same. more and more beautiful. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, Teresa's got a gorgeous face. And Joe has yeah. the features there for that, you know, I guess. Yeah, Nothing Gia, too crazy. Gia didn't get, like, Teresa's hairline, <laughs> you know? That, like, yeah. low hairline. I'm surprised it hasn't receded at all on her. If anything, it's going down the other way. <laughs> I, I, I know, it's weird. Yeah, but Gia looked great. That dress, I mean, God, the shit I wore to prom compared to what these kids wear oh nowadays. My God. And like I look ridiculous. back, it's like, why was my hair up? Put your hair down, just. I, I know. Well, in our day, it was all about the updo. Remember, everybody was yeah. like, the front of their. Why hair, did I do it, that? It was I like know. curled. It was so stupid. And she had her makeup done by that Priscilla girl who does all yep. the Bravo. She's got she it. Does in. a great job. Yeah. God, she, they should be together. They get. There's something going on. Maybe they made out, right? Yeah, probably. Frank know. is hot. Yeah, he's a cute little piece. I would like if you were if you were 18, you would love him. Oh my god. Yeah. All right. Wow, Should I wonder we- how that happened. I would love it if they were in together. Yeah. R- real fast, Adam Levine, um, Adam Sandler asked Adam Levine to come sing at his daughter's bat mitzvah. Is it bat mitzvah for a girl? You mm-hmm. tell me. Mm-hmm. Bar mitzvah as a boy. Is that right? Yes. Did you have a bat mitzvah? No. Did you go to one? Yep. I've been to several. Actually, because my husband, you know, because Dorian grew up in Jersey, he's he probably went to like 300 bat mitzvahs. Did he really? Mitzvahs. Yeah, like every weekend was another wow. one. Oh, I wish I had some Jewish They're friends. They're fun parties. Up. They're great parties. And that would be fun. That's Did the he news have anything that like that? <laughs> that he yeah. sang at the bar Well, mitzvah? I think it's interesting when these Adam Sandler, he says he, he texts him and said, I hate to do this to you, but can you come sing at my daughter's bar mitzvah? Huh. And For he free? said, I doubt it, right? He and he said, "Oh, I can't say no to you" or something. Adam Levine actually seems pretty decent human being. I could care less about him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the only reason I have an interest in him is because of he goes on Howard Stern and he gives oh, okay. pretty decent interviews. Okay. All right, and then he's and he grew up with the that fact. The, the, I shouldn't say the fact kid. I refer to him. The guy Jonah named, Hill. Jonah Hill. <laughs> Man, yeah. you keep this the second week in the world. <laughs> That's all I know him as. I can't ever remember his name. But they grew up together. That fascinates oh, okay. me how these people grow up together and then they grow up to be like, to beat the odds, become a professional, uh, to be an actor who's like hanging out with Leonardo DiCaprio, to be a professional musician. It's just 
crazy, right? Yeah, yeah it is. Like when two family members have two freaking quarterbacks or I know. basketball yeah, players. Nuts. I didn't, yeah. you know, the Currys, I didn't realize there was another one. Oh, you didn't? There's no. actually another, there's another one. There's three. And it them. plays in the NBA too? Um, I think he's still in college or maybe he just got out. I don't know. There's like, isn't that crazy? Is it like if you just breed these kids to be that anybody has that potential or is it in them or yeah, right? there's like some there's some families like in the NFL, like uh, Clay Matthews, who played for Green Bay. There was like three of them right. um, in the NFL and another one. Yeah, it's crazy. Then there's twins or something. One doesn't have yeah. missing an arm and he's in it. It's just like, if you have any excuse. Oh, never mind. I made that up. There's only two brothers. Why did I think there was three? Yeah, there's just two. One You're got right. lost. Yeah. All right. I, that's the last thing. Okay. Lala Anthony has been cast as Brian Austin Green's wife in the 90210 remake, which is going to suck. I'm not watching. And I Vanessa watched Lachey, the original, so. who is the killer of all TV shows, is <laughs> Brandon Walsh's wife. Uh, if you funny. see that she gets cast on a TV show, you should just bail because it's going to so end. True. It's so true. She's the, she's gorgeous, but she's the worst. Yeah, I agree. It is the kiss of death. All right. And and when she has sex with Nick Lachey, does she bring up Jessica? Like, I just wonder what's going on. Does she leave a picture of Jessica on the counter? I just, how do you not ever bring her up? I would bring her up every day. I'd, I'd ruin my relationship over it. I'd be watching Julia Wes. psycho. <laughs> Uh, all right um let's dive in i think we should start with new york just because it was the best um oh 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 um before we dive into the bravo shows uh take a moment and subscribe to us on apple Podcasts so you get our pods also rate review we'd love to hear from you give us some stars um we're excited because 90 day fiance the other way begins this week so i think we're gonna have some good 90 day content coming your way did you get to watch the whole episode no it was only the first hour so they have the first hour for free on the app it was good though the i yeah we're gonna have a lot they don't seem like they are affected no and it's also it's so early this is this will be like what we love where it's like a real hot mess um so we'll be talking that and then follow us on um instagram escape to reality podcast and twitter escape to pod we're there um all right let's start with new york because it was just so good how could we not it was um all right let's see here oh okay so the cabaret rehearsal <laughs> with sonia jingle bells <laughs> so i would go i love christmas music though but i would go to a christmas cabaret i would not go to a normal cabaret but i would go to i a wouldn't christmas go to one. luann's but i'd go yeah um, luann's cabaret looks awful to me <laughs> really but i hate luann i like watching her on tv but there's certain housewives i'll put my buck out for yeah. she's not one of them i don't know no, why i would agree um, I loved Sonia's commentary the whole time during the rehearsal. She was just out of it. <laughs> like, she was cracked the fuck out. Right? She was. De- I feel like she was definitely on something. <laughs> like, just the way she was like, I mean, that didn't sound good, right? Like, sitting back there like she's one of the producers. It's like, who are you? She just doesn't rolls need in. coffee. That guy was right to not get her coffee. <laughs> but she just rolls in unannounced. He's like, I'm getting it on Postmates about the coffee. She's like, oh, that's expensive. Do we have the budget for that? I'm like, who are you? <laughs> god i love it she's nuts she's the best tv ever she really is pure comedy um she's just sitting there acting crazy (laughs) dancing when she's walking in right she should be at every cabaret see if sonia was at every cabaret show i would would go go see it if sonia was doing cabaret i would go (laughs) yeah right she would would end up in tassels like (laughs) naked grinding on the the, like bassist i don't know it'd be ridiculous (laughs) i i'd watch her do anything (laughs) me too um, she is crazy the dorinda tree lighting who called her grandma christmas did you i wrote yes. that down who was that was that sonia <laughs> she's uh, somebody something. was like I drive, are you yeah, grandma yeah. christmas I, was like, I thought she looked great um i like she Dorinda's does she outfit. does yeah um she's she, her face is really looking good this year yeah she doesn't want to be in the cabaret she wants uh luann to keep her name out of her mouth or she's, she's gonna get her lawyers involved yeah, like, who she's, cares she's coming with the lawyers um she really hates luann i know luann <laughs> thinks sonia's on pills spreading that rumor um yeah sonia i heard you say i'm manic i'll manic your face up <laughs> that was great <laughs> 
<laughs> and then when she was like, I'm just happy that she's like doing a jig. I'm like, listen, man, you're on something for sure. She is. What is she on? Adderall or? I feel like it's like an upper, like a mood. Or... No, it's like a mood upper. Like right. A, right. Yeah. Yeah. Some kind of pill. Um, yeah. Suppresses the appetite. I noticed you put going. it out or maybe you retweeted it. Jill was called Dorinda's friend. Yes. Yeah. I retweeted that. <laughs> So much for uh, Jill's appearance on this show, huh? They really. Uh... Now Jill was on uh, Andy. No, no, no. Jeff Lewis live on on Sirius Radio, mm-hmm. and she was saying that she sounds like they won't let her on, and she would come on in a heartbeat. So of I was, yeah, yeah. So I was wrong. That's exactly on that. what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Um, when Dorinda confronts Luann about the cabaret thing, she's like, "Life is a cabaret. Get used to it." <laughs> I was like, shut the fuck up. Um, that tree lighting, though. And it, Dorinda's hilarious with the, I made it nice. That was like, great. It's, I loved she it. She just does never stop. That'll be on her on her tombstone. She I does know. not care. Has she branded that yet into like T-shirts or something? I'm sure that's She coming. got a serious radio show. I think it's called Dorinda Makes It Nice or oh, something. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Um, Luann's pissing everybody off. And she's pissing me off, too. I do find her really annoying. Um, I know. Do you think she'll be back next year? Yeah. Yeah. Because, I mean, I think she's it's a it's again, the dynamic is perfect with these women other than Barbara. Like, why was Barbara in Miami when I saw she was there? I was like, why is she here? She's not needed. She doesn't want to be there. She seems miserable. Just I just want to I want to stick her face in like a cold water bucket and like scrub off all her makeup and see what I'm working. Yeah. With. Yeah. Like I just want to cleanse her. She I needs know. a good cleansing. She's pretty. She right. She just has like a orange some tinge. self tanner. Right. Right. Um, and she's like the whole time like oh they're so drunk. It's like have you never seen the show. You didn't know what you're signing on. for. Right. Exactly. Especially this cast. <laughs> I know. So they arrive in Miami. Very nice villa. Um, Sonia immediately is getting turned up. Um, pounding mojitos. Um, Tinsley saw Ramona making out with Harry. What's with Harry? I don't. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know these women. How about? Um, um, or, but but the Bethany packing scene with her assistant is so uncomfortable. She's like, I don't want to wear the same hat every day. And then she goes and sees that hot pink hat. Did you see that? And she's mm-hmm. like, uh, her assistant's like, oh, I wanted to fit that. And she's like, Make it happen. Yeah, it's like <laughs> oh my god, me. I Bethany. I kind of liked it. I just would never talk to someone. I feel like it. I just can't imagine. I I don't think Bethany means it, but she just like means business. But yeah, yeah. I would never want to be someone's minion like that. No, it'd be terrible. And Speaking how about Luann of... calling her probation officer though? Before I'm going to be out of town, <laughs> and if if you're looking for me, I'm in Miami <laughs> with my girlfriends. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. <laughs> right. Um. Speaking of minions, how about Ramona having that having people unpack? That's like her mo every time. Did you like this? Do you like this? What do you think of this oh dress? My God. It was just like that poor person. <laughs> Jesus, no wonder uh, Mario left. He was that right? person. Oh, probably. How about when they got to the airport and they're like, Tinsley, you're in the other one. Uh, Sonia's coming in here. And oh they yeah, kick they would her like out. let her in the car. <laughs> that was funny. Um. Oh, the house manager comes and asks if they want blowouts. I love Sonia. Blowouts? Ugh, change the second word. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh my God, you're nuts. Uh, it's the best. They're all so, so fucking crazy. It's insane. Uh, Sonia's wasted. So is Dorinda. Oh, God. The Sonia with the Tej Taj guy. <laughs> Tej. Yeah, it's Tej. Like, I had to write down Paige, Tej. And then she's like, Jesus, Raj. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he was like i loved when he was like very matter of fact he's like i'm gonna keep my name tej but you can call me taj like, it's like he just was like this woman i just have to deal with. and then they're even introducing and then what's her face is coming in and um luann's like tosh t-o-s-h it's like it's a too much <laughs> that poor guy oh my god sonia's like laying all over him you stole my shoe He's like, no, your other shoe's over there. All right, Taj. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> this is going to hide my belly. <laughs> uh, and then we talked about so it at the beginning, good. but Dorinda so making good. a drink with that poor guy watching her was just an all-time. I, I love how she's like, and what I like to do is she's like slurring, <laughs> just like throwing shit in. This is uh, a harder pour than you did. Right. <laughs> And was it a mojito? Did she muddle anything? No. I don't think so, right? I think she like shook it like a martini and then 
He's like, it's uh, just like a Miami mojito. <laughs> Look, at these poor people, they're like, what the, the fuck did the we do? Poor guy into? probably lost his job for having a sip of the liquor. I know. Oh, God. And how good. did she make it through dinner when she looked the drunkest probably I've ever seen her with that face? <laughs> Drenda? Yeah. She did look, I don't know, maybe it's she like something happened. She looked beat to that. hell there. They partake in the Miami party favors. We're or a real, ma- or what was she saying? Like, <laughs> Yeah, she's like, <laughs> I think she was like telling them like, you don't even know what you're in for. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. It's right. like, uh, I think we do. Um, I like a splash of water. I'm so, it's like, how do you even know that's water? That's pretty <laughs> impressive. It's like you know, I have a couple of friends like this. Like when they get super wasted, it's like they turn into like autopilot and they're like still functioning. That was like Dorinda. Like she was making a cocktail. I mean, at the she end of the day, is, she made something. It's like she could drive like an Uber her. like that. She's really impressive. Uh, I loved when um, Bethany arrived. The way she walked into the bathroom where they all were, like, and they like didn't even blink an eye. They're like, oh hello. <laughs> like, just, like, God. And uh, Sonia is like, uh, I'm going to pee in the bathtub. Oh my God, <laughs> trying to take her pants off. <laughs> Can you imagine? No. Like, oh she's God. legit 60 years old, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, she's there. Yeah. Like, oh, oh she God. looks so good. I mean, she does, but she was absolutely out she of control. She is so shit faced. How does she not fall and crack her head? How's she alive? I mean, she obviously fucks herself up when she passed out at the end. Oh, my God. Oh, that shit was great. In that ro- that bathroom scene, though, was too good. <laughs> um, Bethany. Why didn't Bethany want to go out that night? I don't know. I thought Bethany looked very cute, though. That was a very she, cute outfit. She's but, looking great. I've yeah. never been, like, thinking she's, like, really that pretty. But she looks yeah great no i agree i liked when she called uh sonia the curator of cock because (laughs) (laughs) she starts all the men which i loved poor sonia Um, she does want to rip ramona's face off why does she put up with ramona and she doesn't want to get really mad at her i mean so at dinner when she starts like luann's like i'm gonna bring some men some cute boys and sonia's like throw me a guy (laughs) i don't want any of your cabaret guys no gays. I want a guy. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. You probably fucked him, Luann. <laughs> it's the best. Uh, yeah, and then uh, Dorinda and Luann get into it. I love Dorinda. I'll say whatever the- I fucking want. Oh, my God. While Sonia, meanwhile, is like continuing her soliloquy in the background. That was like that was when it really got chaotic. It was like Dorinda and Luann were going at it, and Sonia's just yelling in the background. No one's even listening to her. Oh, it's so good. And Dorinda's like, eat, or no, Sonia's eating the mushrooms or yelling at her. She's just eating the community food. Yeah, she's like, oh, is this not do we have plates? Like, it's like yeah, nope, your dinner is a giant bowl of mushrooms. If I was Sonia, I'd probably just let her eat the mushrooms. I wouldn't even say anything. You know, you have to pick your battles with people like that because you try to give her a plate. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah. She'd throw shit. You Eat know? the mushrooms. She's yeah. hilarious. It would have been funny had they let her sit there and just shove mushrooms in her face. <laughs> she was already the mushrooms and the seaweed. Oh, seaweed. <laughs> it's so good for you. <laughs> oh, God. It was, this was an all time classic. But, uh, so how Bethany is like, I'm just going to go talk to her. Oh, and yeah. That was weird. Luann, I'm here to talk, not listen. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's like, I, I just also love how even though Sonia, like, no one is really like, Sonia, you're being a complete drunk asshole. They're like, yeah, Sonia's right. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I liked when they Dorinda, all hate <laughs> Luann so right? much. When Dorinda said to Bethany, you're too late. I'm too drunk. You can't catch up. That was good. <laughs> yeah. And Sonia's like telling her, you're hideous. God, it was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it was weird that Bethany just went up to Luann and was like, listen, you're you're entitled and nobody likes you. <laughs> She's like, so pissed aggressive. off at her. She really is. I mean, I get it. And and Luann is like, she has no self-awareness like at all. It's no. really weird. She's walking around in that bikini talking about how she doesn't want to be like them. And then right. six months later, she's back in know, court. She's back on the booze. It's really sad. It, yeah, it, it is. Um, Tinsley's a professional drunk. She she can hold her booze. Like, wow. She really can. Um, Sonia passing out at the table. That was so good. She's like, I'm going to go out while she's like snoring. <laughs> yeah. Do you think Bethany was saying go to sleep? Like, did she realize that that's her line or, the, or 
it what seemed natural, like with the Kelly Ben Simone with the go to sleep. Oh, I think she was just telling her, like, you need right. to go to bed. Right. Yeah. It's funny how that comes out of her mouth all the time. Go to fucking sleep now. And then she just collapses <laughs> and hits her head. That looks like she really fucked herself up. Yeah. I'm going to nice. knock you out. And then Sony, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> but he's like, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Let's let's go. <laughs> You're uh, hideous. She's saying. Oh, it's so good. I can't believe that she just, and the way the episode ended with her just eating shit. And you saw the preview for next week. Uh, Tinsley and Ramona are just yes. walking past the ambulance to go to the club. They're like, oh, that looks bad. <laughs> it's so Ramona. So Ramona. Doesn't care about poor Sonia, her best friend, no. supposedly. She's got to get those numbers. Oh, that was such a and good then, episode. And I then Mario that. shows up. Yeah. Weird. It's going to be very interesting. I'm excited for these Miami episodes. This Me is exactly too. what I need. It is so good. I mean, good. just when you thought, like, when you think back about the Cartagena, Columbia episodes last season that were everything. But yeah. This is, this is holding up in a different way. Them on the boat, <laughs> right? Like, da- like holding each other. Oh, God. No, it's just great. The, the casting is on point. It's super on so point. So happy Bethany is back. Me too. She adds a little zhuzh. I love the way she just gets out of that cab and the way they shoot her. And yep. like she's a movie star. She's walking into that house. And it's great. That's oh, good. Any other thoughts on that episode? Man, that was amazing. I loved it. It's just, they're just us too good. Yeah. They're the best. Barbara. Oh, and Ramona, like, well, <laughs> Tinsley and Barbara. I have a lot to catch up on. <laughs> so she's such an asshole. It's out of control. <laughs> oh, God. Barbara. Right. I think Barbara could be a good time. Ugh. Take your construction goggles off, Barbara. I know you're the leader of the cabaret cult. Oh, yeah. That was good, too. Yeah. Bye, Barbara. All right. Um, moving Bye, on. Bye, Barbs. Should we talk Southern Charm? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have to say that the scenes with Shep, Craig, and Austin at the end were, like, so ridiculous. Those idiots it was are great. Just, like, it was great. Such buffoons. People are saying there's no storyline, but I don't need a storyline. No, there isn't really a storyline. I mean, there's a couple interesting things happening. I think the first is Catherine somehow having the money to buy a Rolls Royce. I want to know crazy well, what's pi- going like, on. What's happening there. And the new dude that she's with. That seems extremely sketchy. Yeah. His um, his his dick pics. <laughs> dick pics. Abusive. Got arrested. What, Why would she choose this shit? Right. So that was weird. And then I think the other storyline that's good is just like. The kind of Shep, Craig Austin, like they're all super involved in his relationship, which is weird. Yeah. Um, and um, I like, I mean, like, what's her face? We, we don't need um, what's her face's love life with her dad. Oh, yeah. No, I like Tyson and the big bone. He's a that dog. Looks is like cute. a good dog. Yeah. 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 That was a big um, ass bone. And I the do, other thing I really don't like is Cameron's continuing mom shit it's like super annoying to me <laughs> like when she walked in and started making a drink and her mom's like oh i'd like one she's like mom you can't have one you're watching my child it's like you're home what are you, you talking have, about yeah you have one kid the kid's asleep your mom can get shit faced if she wants and the well, kid will stay alive just leave her alone like yeah well, also you're home, you're so home. Are you take care of the child right now also, you're you can't both have a cocktail didn't you think her house was like a disaster too? It looks so dirty. I was just oh, like, what's happening there? My house is a nightmare. So anything oh, looks God. better to me. <laughs> I do feel her pain though. Like uh, the control of like, if anything were to happen to the kid, it's, no, yeah, that shows fine. how loving she- she's but, hiding all her true feelings. But then when she was like, it's just mind numbing being home. It's like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? It's only like, one kid and you're on right. Instagram all the time talking to people. Right. And I'm sure you have people over all the time. What are you home for four or five, six hours a stretch? You have people to come. I I just don't think she doesn't have anyone to come help her. I mean, I don't believe that either. Yeah. I and just, I bet she has friends that have kids and she's out and about with that little Palmer. Yeah. Um, she's not I, locked inside with that kid. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, she's acting like she is uh, living in a trailer in the middle of nowhere with like no help and nothing yeah. and it's like just calm down i don't know i find it insulting and you, there's all these right like you're out socializing i don't get to socialize that much you know right you're out having a midday wine having a cocktail while your mom in, watches the kids this is my socializing sitting in an empty room talking to a microphone <laughs> oh that sounds you fucking bitch. sad <laughs> 
Uh, um, <laughs> and I'm happy. I'm so happy. I'm like Sonia. I'm, I'm, I'm just so happy, thrilled. Um, I just wish she'd be really. I guess. Um, yeah. I mean, it is what. It, yeah. There's, there's only one kid. And life can't be that bad. No, it really can't. Um, how about Shep calling his mom but guess, about the dog, and she's like, I mean. I, I don't want to have three pets. I mean, you, you're going to have to choose a pet over a party. And it's like, you realize you're talking to a 45-year-old adult. And like, Shep ordering a dog off the internet? Well, it was just it, like the way he his, her, his mom was talking to her would be the way you would talk to your kid in college. Like, do you really need an animal right now? Are you sure no, you can handle doesn't. that responsibility? Oh, he doesn't need child. anything. Yeah. See, I missed that. I thought it was like a quick snippet and I missed that. And... um then I just when I see people buy internet dogs, I just want to slit their throats. That's aggressive. Because that poor dog, those are all puppy farm dogs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the mills. You know, yeah. like Shep, go fucking get a dog from Charleston. You don't need to ship a dog in off the airport. Yeah, agreed. Um, you little bitch. And then Tyson, I Tyson. Liked- <laughs> Tyson's a cool dog. Go get a dog like Tyson. Right. Instead, he end up a little Pomeranian because he's a little bitch. <laughs> I liked Craig rolling up to the bar ordering an, or the coffee shop and ordering a double rosé. <laughs> like, <laughs> something about Craig to me is very humorous. Oh, like, he's the best. It, it's just like he's such a weird dude. Like his whole vibe is bizarre to me. He is. I, I love watching him. He's such me a too. character. It really is. He looked aged like 25 years older this episode for some reason. Too. Right. And he's like, what'd you do today? He's like, oh, you know, I took pictures of my pillows. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I do. I do love him. Yeah. Naomi and the. So what is she doing? She's got the store or she's got the e-commerce and she's got her parents restaurant. She's throwing a little luncheon. Yeah, she seems like the most put together of all of them. I still hate her, though. I don't know why. I, I like can't her. tell you why. I don't know. Maybe she. I, I, I liked her when she had lunch with Catherine. But oh, see, I, that was the one part I didn't oh. like. <laughs> but I wish she would tell her, like, yeah, that's a red flag. His ex-wife right. is probably. That's what I was saying. Like the way she yeah. was like, giggling and laughing it off, but then talking shit. She should like, really fuck? tell her, like, that's probably not the case. Um, Cameron's reaction to Naomi's boyfriend was extremely creepy. I loved it. And oh. I would have the same reaction. <laughs> really? Like, yes. that's very like, what are you, 15? Well, like, she's it was uh, weird. I think he's that hot. And well, yeah, he's hot, but how uncomfortable is that? It's weird. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Your... It is super uncomfortable. But <laughs> you I don't think want people your friend are doing that. I yeah. mean, come on. I would be maybe a little um honored or something. But like, yeah, I got that dick, you know. I guess. I guess like, as her, as Cameron's that probably makes him super uncomfortable. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I, I mean, but I think he has that. If I think he's the hottest thing that Bravo's ever seen. I am into it. I'm yeah, having that reaction hot. through the TV. Right, he looks like he there. smells so good and is so freshly showered right off out of that hospital. He's hopping over there. Can he I, looks so. So oh. this is like the second time you brought up showering. <laughs> There's something like. Did you? Oh, no, Shep looks with- disgusting. Oh, yeah. Shep looks gross. Like I like a nice showered man who smells good. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I feel Shep like. looks like he just left the dump looking for auto parts, <laughs> and he needed to match the mirror to his car that he like ran into when he was drunk the night before, and he hasn't showered in three days. After he abandoned the chick on the bicycle. In the middle yeah, of the and like you know, <laughs> put some deodorant on. Yeah. But this guy, you know, some guys really don't smell good, and I oh, appreciate no, I, that. I, I, or like I, a I, freshly washed clothes. Yeah. Um, he's hot he is hot Cameron's reaction was crazy but I loved every second of it yeah it made me uncomfortable for him (laughs) and for Naomi it was like he deserves it he's got a perfect look in everything he can be uncomfortable I want to see him at Chippendales he is hot yeah seems like a nice guy do you think Um, they're gonna get married maybe I don't know I don't, even, I, like, I don't have a sense of... I don't follow her, so I don't really know what their vibe is. Even like. Naomi's mom is like, tell uh, Matul we said hi. She wants to bang him. Oh, I bet. Oh. Um, <laughs> but putting the napkin over the face, you got to keep it together. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. you're an adult with a child. Let's get But she's got a together. dorky husband. You know, like, she don't have that, that piece of meat. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. So then the <laughs> the end was Shep Craig Austin. So evidently, I know. Imagine if that was your husband, and I imagine. I mean, if I did that to Dorian, that'd be a little. It would be odd. No, it's yeah. very weird. One time, actually, we went to happy hour with people from my work, like when I f- first started at a job, and like Dorian came, and this woman was like fawning like it was like extremely creepy she's like wow look at you like look how muscly you are and like touching him and was like wow 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 and was like stare it was very uncomfortable i was like what is happening keep your paws off my man (laughs) but it was just like it was like in a public group of work people i'm like this is weird man you gotta get your shit together Um, in a way it's sweet you know but um it's a little creepy what did dorian say anything after was he like that lady was really into me yeah i mean she was like it was super obvious (laughs) then it came out like six months later and she was her boyfriend was there um that her boyfriend exposed himself at a Christmas festival. Oh like, my god! <laughs> yeah, and they broke up. And they put that on the Christmas card. <laughs> right, right. In other news, he was arrested. Does he for now? Does he get program. arrested? And is he on like a a list? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what okay. happened. Um, let me. Um, what's it? You know. The Amber Alert. Let me. Put, right. Or the right that website. Um. So the rest. So Shep Craig Austin. Uh, Austin's chick was had her friend hit up somebody on Instagram saying she thought he was hot. Danny's boyfriend. Yeah. Which is weird. Um, Let's just get rid of Danny. Isn't that very middle school to be like? I like um, Danny, but message my friend and say that you think I'm cute or something. Like it was very weird. I don't even know what it. Right. It's very. The whole thing is just. (laughs) So. Uh. Shep and Greg decide to tell Austin I love this whole they were like not making eye contact with him and he's like listen nothing is happening but things are happening <laughs> I, like, I love that I love what? that oh that cornbread God. and the salted or boiled peanuts I'm down for that southern cooking uh, boiled peanuts are so gross are me. they I've never had them oh they're like wet it's like oh, a wet okay. peanut okay but that cornbread in that I cast iron thing yeah, with that I'm butter cornbread. my mouth is salivating right now i yeah. gotta get, get the soup plantation man i just loved the whole the whole way they approached like telling him was like just so stupid it was um, so guy and then they're like we'll soften him up and then when he really got there shep's like just tell him what's going on craig <laughs> i know and craig's like uh, uh like wouldn't look at him in the eyes he's like <laughs> i was like this is awkward I just want those cocktails. I want a, I want yeah. a meal. I want a beer. Yeah. I want whatever they're down in the Red Bull can. You want that? The Red Bull with <laughs> no, the No, no. It, it sounds disgusting, but right now I'm just, I could get. I just, I just love, this is such a male way to deal with this, to like bar hop to two places, pound a Red Bull in a shot and be like, all right, I'm going to call her. It's like, that's what? a great way. I love it. Uh, I'm not a gun. I can't gun sh- or what's it called? Gunshot? No. Uh, shotgun. Shotgun. Gunshot. <laughs> it's hard for me to do that. Yeah. Um, I liked how when he uh, called her and she kind of admitted it, he comes back to the table. It's like evident that he's like trying not to cry and Shep is like laughing. <laughs> Shep was ear to ear so happy. He's like, I've never felt this way about a girl. It's I like, know. Because you're fucked up, Shep. <laughs> I know. And then I like when they were like, Craig was like, but, but Shep, it's not about you and I. You and me. Me and you. <laughs> The you way would... he corrects grammar, it's like, I'm going to chop your nuts off and feed them to you for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, God. They're just so stupid. Can you imagine you hang out with people and they correct your grammar even when you're drunk? I know, right? Uh, I just thought, like, that whole the whole ending part of that episode was just classic because they're such morons. Oh, it's like... so good. And Craig's like, I didn't want it to go this way, man. <laughs> right, right. We didn't want this to happen. Meanwhile, Shep's doing a jig in the corner. It's like, who really gives a shit? If she wants to message people, l- let him do... I- at that point, that's not enough evidence for me to be like sit down and like ruin his life over some girl he's obsessed with it'll all play out uh, it's i i don't know why why shep is so invested it's very weird he does him and austin it. have a very weird like competitive vibe i don't know what it's about. yes and that girl is really smoking hot and maybe he's just she, jealous huh she looks kind of weird to me. oh she reminds me of nicole egger in her hot baywatch days because i'm a pervert my brother and i would watch baywatch back in the day but. Oh, okay <laughs> i don't mm-hmm. know but she's very i think i find her to be very pretty but um it's interesting like how she, or how uh he picks her up it, that's the 
the code to um, Austin. If he picks you up when he sees you, he really is into you. Remember that whole thing? <laughs> yep, yep. He's down. How he didn't yeah. like that one blonde. It's funny how a man, how people's energies or whatever, Austin's like head over heels for this blonde girl, but the blonde girl before that looks identical, the, they, um, he could care less about her. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just interchangeable. Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed and it. she's doing Patri- Patricia's hair? Yeah, she's like a hairstylist or something. Doing blowouts. Wow. Living the dream. Do you eat snails? No, never had them. I don't think I could. I'm a texture person with food. Chelsea's like, this is this is a Tastes snail. Tastes like a snail. It's like, right. oh my God, I'm going <laughs> to cool. barf. I couldn't do snails. It's like I'm like, a, yeah, toenails. texture is very important to me with food. Wow. Um, all right. Gross. Anything else Nasty. on Southern Charm? Um, that's about it. I mm. I did enjoy the end. It was fun. Yeah, it was Shep good. is mental. He is. Uh, you want to do Potomac or uh, Summer House? Let's do Summer House. Let's Summer get that House. out. Of the, get that passion out of the way. <laughs> get it out of the way. All right. Um, what do we see? We're oh, we're back to the awkward dinner. Um, where they're all fighting. Um, I like how Lindsay brought up the ED that Jordan's experiencing and he tells everyone he got Viagra, Jeez, which was weird. never seen a man be so open about talking about can't getting his dick. Well, it's because he's just trying to talk about anything yeah. except what he really should talk about, right, which is right. his conflicted sexuality. <laughs> um, like, is he scared his parents won't talk to him? I wonder. I loved when Hannah goes to talk to Jordan about it and they're like yelling and he's like, stop making my dick an issue. <laughs> and Schwartz is like, is that real? Like, they're like, Jordan. yeah, it is. Yeah. And then, uh, and then, uh, what's his face? What's his name? The uh, Kyle like gives him the recap. Like, well, Jordan can't get his penis hard. It's a right. long, it's our big issue. It's, right. it's more complicated. <laughs> it's like, this is nuts. Oh, it was nuts. Um, how about Kyle waking back up wasted to making food in the, when he was down in the kitchen? It's the He's best. like, yo, cookie, turn it down. Like, talking to himself. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? And uh, Lindsay staring at him. I would follow, I would stare at him, too. He's hilarious. Oh, my God. So funny. I loved that. That's, like, just pure comedy. Um, he was shit-faced this whole episode. Oh, so drunk. Crying everywhere. It's like, this is Let's... how your mental state be before you get proposed i don't i don't think you need to no be proposing. It, i agree like stassi called it like maybe now is not the right time to propose maybe it is not because this is you guys haven't even had two solid weeks of like chill behavior it i love stassi's seem... reaction it was good yeah she's I so really cutthroat i, I liked Bo too Bo gave like a perfect read on Paige and carl too like i yeah. just i, I like Bo. that's from growing up with a mom like that i don't yep. Bo is a quality guy he really is. He I love is. him. D- did you see when something was happening when they were all fighting? He was like, all right, I'm going to get up. And he just like left. <laughs> just like, he is so yeah. sweet. And seeing the Vanderpump kids outside, they're so different when they're yeah. not the stars. They're so I much agree. more likable. Yes, I would agree with you. Um, I love the whole time. What's her face? Katie and Schwartz. Like they're the couple to get advice from. It's like, <laughs> like we've all seen ridiculous. Vanderpump rules. We know what you're all right. about. <laughs> right. Um, I like how Carl told uh, Kyle in the car that like Paige was grinding on and said she wanted to fuck and Kyle immediately brings it up to Paige when they get to that like water thing. That was so good. <laughs> and I like Paige immediately. She's like, listen, I could, you cheated. I could have come for you, which is like, it's true. Right. And and then Schwartz, it's escalating. I'm going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over there? Right. Uh, yeah. And then well Paige pretty much said like i might have said that after five tequilas it's like yeah carl when everyone's shit faced i mean right who cares right and i liked how like uh amanda was telling him to drink water and he's like carl's like okay kyle you're speaking too much truth drink some water (laughs) yeah right (laughs) their relationship Um, is exhausting it's so exhausting like when he was drunkenly um paddling around and then ended up crying on that on oh that island God. by himself. She just wants to scold me. It's like, oh, what is oh happening? My. This when when a guy is saying that that she's scolding him, it's 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 done. I mean, like the whole the, there were th- how many times did he cry this episode? Like four. It's and then she started crying at the end. It's like, why are you guys both crying in a bar? Like this is not a good situation. Yeah. 
And you're Kyle. about to get married. Kyle, stop crying. Look at me. Don't say that. Oh my God, it's like, what? I find it so annoying. It is. It really uh, is. It's done. How about Schwartz's bleeding ass that he had to go to a hospital? God, what an alcoholic. Like, shitting out of your asshole till it pretty much ruptures. A fissure? A fissure? Ugh, stop. You know, I've been to Mexico probably, I don't know, 50 times in my life. This last time I went was the only time I've ever gotten a stomach bug from Mexico, and it was terrible. Like, it and is you're really just rough. Pooping? Wait, you just can't, like, yeah, you just can't stop going to the bathroom. It's, it's terrible. It's a good diet. It's never happened to me before. That was the first time ever. Wow. What do you think happened? It must have been something we ate. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Now, I love the Vanderpump girls and Lindsay, like everyone else is off doing active activities. Like, I don't want to do anything active. And they <laughs> right. leave. But like, just tell our boyfriends we left or, right. or tell them we left. Uh, God. Stassi is who she is. Yeah. She I appreciate definitely is. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's consistent. Um, Jordan brings, or I mean, Carl brings a chick around. The page does seem a little jealous for sure. And I like Jordan told that chick, he was like, listen, last weekend was the first time I'd ever heard about you, period. It's like, why are you? <laughs> like, he is a freak. What is wrong with you? It grosses <sighs> me out to hear people making out just audio. And why? What's with Carl taking people into like weird little rooms? Like he fucked that chick in the closet like he twice. Wants, yeah, he 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 knows where he can no do it. cameras. He doesn't want any I cameras, I guess. Yeah, because you really weird. haven't seen him bang anybody on camera. No, you're right. Yeah, which I would like to see, but yeah. God, that girl, she's just she's just is she's a person. That's she's just you know going I mean? up in there and. Paige is like at least wanting something from him to give her it over. I got to give her credit for that. It's just he'll find somebody, some hole yep. to stick it in. Yep. Where has this girl been the whole time? If he's going to the to the wedding with her and now she's showing up, so she's local. I thought she was like in D.C. or something. Yeah, no, I guess. Yeah, because they showed her. She was like on camera earlier. It's weird. I love um, uh, Stasi though, putting the napkin over her face when they're fighting with each other. That, oh, yeah. That was great. Yeah, it was good. Um, yeah, Stassi was great, like, as Kyle was crying again, and, and he's like, oh, I want to propose. And she was like, listen, tough shit. This is what happens when you cheat. So, like, yeah, <laughs> live for with her. It. Yeah. That's how the Vanderpump kids have had all these seasons. They're so real. True. Uh, yeah. Well, for a while. For right. a while. Like, punching right. each other and fighting yep. with each other. Yeah. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, I can't remember. Mm, must have been good <laughs> but it is interesting oh 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 kyle how is amanda not caught on that he's gonna propose he's told everyone drunkenly like i'm gonna propose you know i'm surprised she hasn't heard him right i feel like you would know yeah where's the ring where does he yeah. hide it oh, god what a disaster the whole situation is just makes me I wonder what shorts has to do for that does he just let it heal or doesn't Probably. like don't drink shorts yeah. i know did this sew something up probably maybe i don't katie's know katie's just ramming him in the ass too hard <laughs> okay but katie and him seem like if i never watched vanderpump rules i would think that they have a good relationship and they're yep. gonna make it i would agree and it seemed very calm and normal yeah katie's likable yeah true yeah yeah it's interesting their dynamic is completely different between Vanderpump and that. Next season, next episode's the finale. That girl right. was on Taylor Strucker's show again, talking about it. Said that if there's a season next, they'll start filming June 21st. But they don't even know yet. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that is weird. I, I heard that too. That they film after Memorial Day. Interesting. Well, we'll see. I bet they get another season. Why wouldn't they? And people are asking like Kyle where to get the Lover Boy. And he doesn't have any. He's like trying to get investors, and he should have had that all set up if he's promoting it like the way he is. Right? Huh? I yeah. guess Bravo gets a cut if you talk about your business. Like after Bethany, Bethany was the person who got like the sweetheart deal, and blew up. But now they really have it. Bravo oh, gets a cut okay. of your profits. Interesting. If you talk about it more than like three times, she said. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see if Lover Boy ever makes it to stores. All right. Yeah. A little Potomac. Yeah. Shall we? Now, these girls, if they were just shit faced like the New York girls, it'd be great, right? Yeah. I thought it was kind of a boring episode. Yeah. Um, 
But the okay, so they pick back up about that Michael said the dick sucking comment, but no one's gonna talk about it. Which I thought was very weird. It will come up. Yeah. Like Robin isn't saying anything, neither is Candace. They're FaceTiming each other, like, ooh, this looks a little sketchy. Yeah. Um Robin with that weird. hair. I don't know what's going on there. Who said this? Oh, Candace. I thought this was amazing. She was like, Ashley's drinking and uh, Michael's wanting to partake in a penis just doesn't add up. <laughs> <That was laughs> so I love how they act like people don't get pregnant sh- drunk or they didn't drink before. Right? It is weird. Like, she had one miscarriage and she's pretty young. So it's not like she's like in dire straits. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> That's the only time I've gotten pregnant. <laughs> right? Wasted. <laughs> no, um, I'm just also, we get it, Candace. You're married, like enough with the like, just the husband thing. It's like she's like the first person to ever get married. I find right. it annoying. And uh, cry, put the tears down your face. Don't with the tissues, like dabbing them in the corner. Oh, it's so a, annoying. Or get uh, uh, the Q-tips, like Wendy Williams. I don't want to see this. I don't either. I hate that. Hanging up on her mom. <laughs> the mom. I love the mom. She doesn't give a shit. You're married now. Stop with the tears. <laughs> oh, mom. I love how you're married yeah. now matters. Right. Here we go. Back to the She'll married now. She'll still treat her like a kid forever. God. Yeah. Um, Robin almost missing the plane. Robin, man. She's like <laughs> late every time. That's a pet peeve of mine is people that late. Oh, God. She Katie. really was close. Katie is a mess. Katie's whole vibe is like creepy. I mean, her her hair is a mess. She rolls up like just looking like and her smoking in a mask on the balcony. <laughs> like, she's freaking. <laughs> I loved it. It is crazy. No. Yeah, she's crazy. And um, Giselle had to room with her to watch her. Right. It's like there's something uh, very infantile about her and she has children. Right. Or does she? I think so. I, I think I can't really remember her first season, really. but she wasn't nuts like that. No, she was like the opposite. Wasn't she like in high society trying to be like a charity person? She was like dying to get this guy to propose to her, right? Wasn't that her? Yeah, yeah. And then he proposed to her like in the field somewhere at the very end? Yep. I don't know. Weird. I don't think they needed to bring her back even though she's fun. Or bring her back in a bigger level or something. I don't know. She just is very like... Like the, if we're, we're going to see weird. everything, I want to watch her pack. I want to watch her even try to get out yeah. of the house. Yeah, 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 for sure. What does it look like for her to leave? Yeah. Like, I would rather watch her than Candace and her mom. Me too. Even though um, I love Can- I like Candace, but she's kind of boring. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, two notes. It's the husband and the mother. That's it. Yeah. It's, and her like being very loud and in public and like singing. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like all she does. <laughs> Uh, I like how they're all like, oh, Candace, shut up with the singing. I know. <laughs> um, I think, is this the largest propor- proportion of people who are actually in a relationship on? Right. Yeah. Well, could be. Four of them? Yeah. Four out the of rest, seven? A lot of them are single. Like, like Real Housewives in New York, no one is. <laughs> yeah, they're all <laughs> No single. one's married. <laughs> it's great. Uh, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it is funny. I think it'll pick up though. The New Orleans episode should give us some good. Are you good spending seventy nine ninety nine on La Dame perfume? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not. I wonder I, how Giselle's business is doing at Target. I wonder as well. Have you ever seen it there? I've looked for it. I feel like I might have. I don't go to Target, so you don't. No, not really. I don't know why. Where do you go? Four. Four. Like, for what? Like, just stuff. Life? <laughs> I mean, I go I go to CVS a lot because I, like... Oh, my God. They're raping you at CVS. No, no, no. I got a lot of coupons. I, I really hustle the coupon game at CVS. Because oh. um, they'll send you, like, 30% off your whole purchase. So I'll just wait and go then. You don't just stroll around Target. No. I really... Wow. I don't know why. I went to like Target a, a lot as a if kid. You ask me, what do you do? Say, I go to Target. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hobby. <laughs> oh, you're nuts. Wow. And so, yeah. like, if you need toilet paper, paper towel, you go to CVS. Uh, Costco. Costco. Oh, Costco. Okay. Yeah. Toilet paper, paper towels, Costco. No, laundry detergent. Laundry detergent, going? Costco. Wow. Um, Soap, Costco. Under- underwear. Underwear? Amazon? Amazon. Victoria's Secret? Victoria's Secret. Yeah. Wow. Granola bars. Uh, Costco. Costco. Wow. <laughs> Do you go to Costco? Um. 
Are you not a Costco member? I am a Costco member, but I don't like buying a bunch of shit. Cause I like. I feel it. like you just have so many. You're gonna have so many kids. They're gonna eat you out of house and home if you're having to go get crap yeah, all the time. But then I got all this sh- stuff that we all get sick of real quick or something. Yeah, no, 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 I do feel you on the snacks. You have to be very like, okay, I can eat this because it it is a lot. I like, like to buy Pellegrino there. Um, yeah. Even though I should be, I should get the La Croix. The uh, no, no, the. Um, you have the stream smart thing where you make oh, your own, soda, right? Oh, soda stream. Yeah, it's legit. <laughs> Fucking exploded on me the other day, though. Like, it's wow. just like fizzy water everywhere. It's a disaster. That's funny. That, um, it is funny what our habits are. I know. It is. Yeah. yeah. All right. We digress. Sorry, um, That's any other <laughs> Costco? Co- we played a game today. It was called Costco or Target. <laughs> <laughs> um, you have any other thoughts on Potomac? I don't really have anything else. Um the Giselle and Karen fighting over. I mean, I guess I could Giselle see. just can't leave Karen alone. Yeah, it's like she really can't. She could have just not said anything. Nothing's what ever come point? into fruition with Karen, and she no, knows that come exactly. On. She does it on purpose. Just let her talk. She's just like a crazy person in the yeah, corner. It's real petty. I love Karen. Yeah, Karen's good. She's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Um, and if I was, um, what's her face, the pregnant one, I wouldn't go. You wouldn't go. What? I wouldn't want to go on a trip to New Orleans if oh. I can't be like. Right. It seems, she up. seems exhausted. I mean, I went really early when I was pregnant, but it still sucked to not be able to drink because New Orleans has no open container. It's like a perfect place like or, for brunch and just getting hammered. Well, and you went with like a nice couple people like. Yeah. Like people who are. But if I'm going, I guess. I don't know. It just seems yeah, no, exhausting. I feel you. Yeah. Right. But real, real quick on Beverly Hills. I know you don't really want to talk about it. I just have to talk about, um, or I guess Denise Richard tried to speak up, but it's not going to work out. She's going to fight with Camille, I guess. Then they're fighting about the bunny that's three years ago. Yeah, I saw the bunny shit. Like, what are we doing? Um, The mammogram thing. Do you really think they just fit Kyle in the day of? Uh, Yeah, it seems And then they, right? I mean, it is scary. I'd be like Kyle freaking out, especially if my mom had it. But And then the whole... um, the Ferris wheel, they're on the Ferris wheel acting like they're going to die on it. So she said that birthday party costs 15 Birkins. Jeez. I can't. I, and they had 500 people there. Where were the 500 people? I didn't, I didn't see 500. I saw maybe 100. And why does Lisa Rinna not, or why does Erica Jane not dress up? She just put on some cat ears and a dress. Like, yeah, the queen you of You think outfits. she would be like into it? I know you would. I don't know. Lisa yeah. Rinna did look great as Erica Jane, though. I did love that. Yeah, that was good. And she is mental going up to... See, I do... Ki, they lost Kim Richards. They needed... I think they need her if they don't have LVP. It'd be fun. I like that dynamic. Yeah, I think so. I'm not really enjoying Camille, so, like, her trying to get more screen yeah. time to me is boring. I just... I don't, I, I don't I know. I wonder what's going to happen next year, because they really got to figure it out. I, I'm out. I don't really care what yeah. happens. I Next episode is Brandy. She seems uh, nuts. Okay. Yeah, Telling I'll the that. server that she's going to kill him if he brings two separate glasses and stuff. Right. And yeah, but Denise Richards is trying, but she just she can't get in there, you know? Right. And it, she also doesn't care enough about the petty bullshit they care about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she doesn't... Um, she doesn't get the bunny thing and she thinks it's dumb and it's like it is dumb but they're gonna care about this for the next 15 years I guess years it makes me sad because I just used to really enjoy watching the show and now it's it has kind of gone down the shitter a little bit yep even though I don't miss LVP but I know people do but yeah that could take or leave her yep double shot at love the beloved Holly goes home Oh, she does? Yeah, they say she's more like family than like a relationship. I would agree. She seems more like an aunt. <laughs> it seems like all these girls go home and they're like, yeah, I understand. Nobody. Yeah, there's just, I don't know. The show is very disappointing to me. I wanted it to be great and it's just not. And I bet Nikki will take it because she won the competition. She goes with Polly. Polly and her are having massages like in the garage of the, the place. <laughs> in the spa whatever and um mm. he's like got this like baby voice talking to her and it almost like turned me off a little bit and he's like i just you really um you're re- so real and i don't see what the other girls see and 
Uh, it's just they should have just had them travel around the world and film him and Vinny having sex with girls in the same hotel room. That's what we want to see. <laughs> right? I agree. I think they just blew they blew the format of the show. It just didn't end up working. The fact that they're trapped in this fucking weird house is like it's just feels very outdated and just doesn't work. They needed to they needed it does, to, it is outdated. It, You're right. You know what I mean? They needed to accelerate the like I said before, they needed to accelerate the eliminations and move it forward. They should have modeled it after The Bachelor. Yeah. Like that's it's not copy wrote or copywritten. You could just copy that shit. And that would have been way better. Take them on trips, get them out of there, have them actually spend time with each other so you get invested in these people. Or even a different show. They really skirted it up. Yeah. Yeah. They had a little girl come in and pretend to be Polly's daughter. And she's like saying like, yeah, buddy. And so it was cute. But God, poor child actress. <laughs> Big break on MTV. Well, what I realized is like I watched the challenge on MTV and they that budget is like out of control. I think they just like and they, they filmed. It. Yeah, they filmed the reunion in, in London. So I think they just they, they just they gave oh, that they filmed show the reunion in London. Yeah, they gave that show no money. Why? Because there is like. Mm-hmm. people international they have people from like love island and stuff on the show oh so. they have people from love island on there yeah yeah oh wow yeah really crossing over all right well folks we'll be back with our 90 day other way happily ever after combo i think i don't know if they air they air the same night now um i think sunday is happily and then 90 the other way is monday all right so we'll be doing those um breakdowns we'll probably combine them So keep your eyes tuned, and uh, we'll be back. Bye, guys. Adios.